what animal would you most like to play next? Henry the dog. You know that series? No, I don't. Just made it up. <laughs> and then he like stows away on a boat accidentally because he was running from some. <laughs> 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 Hi, John. Thanks for taking the time to have a little chat with me about Doolittle. I have um, a few very specific um, squirrel-related questions for okay. you. You are the bad guy. Mm. And there's no way around it. Mm. And what, like, is there a part of you you feel that was already polar bearish? I certainly share a lot of traits with Yoshi, both a, a big and demanding physical presence, right. but really just a big softy. Do you like playing the bad guy? Uh, I mean, it depends. It, it varies from you know different projects. The sort of story you're telling. Now, this kind of a story, uh, you want the audience to be able to enjoy the the bad guyness of the right. of the bad guy. How do you prepare for becoming a squirrel? Tell me a little bit about the ins and outs. I slept in the park for about three weeks. Mm -hmm. because I played a lot of very dark characters. Um, you've just got to know what the tone is of it, you know, right. and 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 be true to that. A lot of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of nuts that I stored away. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. said um, that he sees you as a better voice actor than himself. How does that make you feel? Like he is not telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think in the, in the cast of the entire movie is most likely to actually be able to speak to animals? Probably John Cena. I think that's just because I have a foolish sense of just persistence where I think I really could believe that I really, <laughs> and try to and try to make up maybe a, a fictional result that I can but I, he said your presence was soothing to him oh cool that's nice right cool I don't know how that gets me information from animals but at least <laughs> I know I'm on, under little threat of attack from Craig so thank you a lot of uh, actors dread you know doing a lot of uh, green screen acting but I read that you actually especially for this movie really enjoyed it could you tell me a little yeah, bit about well, that I, it's sort of like being a child again you know it's a it's a kind of pure form of Make believe. All acting is pretend, right. um, and uh, you know to, to to sort of talk about it like it's real is nonsense. It's all we're making it all up. It's all pretend. Who do you think is actually most likely to be able to speak with animals in the Doolittle cast? You know, Michael Sheen talks a lot about being surrounded by sheep often. <laughs> so Robert would ask me, you know, how would you say this, or you know, um, not not so much about pronunciation, but about little phrases or little things that would make it more authentic. Right. And so it was great fun to be able to kind of just get him to say stuff. You either, every time you meet a new person, you turn into a manatee for an hour, or all your laughing sounds now are elephant sounds. Manatee. Really? Absolutely. Either you grow white fur over your entire body, or you can now only, like a koala, eat eucalyptus for the rest of your life. Okay, so I, I walk up to you, I was like, hi, I'm Steven, and then immediately poof, poof. And due to the heavy amount of manscaping I already do, you guys don't wanna know about that, white fur over my whole body may be difficult, although I could use some in the penthouse, if you know what I'm talking about. It's getting a little thin up there. So, so you're acting a lot with like the, these props and these you know, green blobs that are supposed to be something. Mm. Was there any moment that stood out or any prop that you thought, okay, this is, this is getting ridiculous? I remember we were doing a scene, not to give anything away, um, towards <laughs> the end of the film, and there's, uh, and there's a very large creature involved. You're very aware of, of how dramatic this is and, and how it's going to look, how spectacular it, it's supposed to look. And what you're actually reacting to is just a piece of tape on a curtain. <laughs> that is kind of odd. So one last question. If there was any other animal after this that you could play or voice act, what animal would it be? The bald eagle. Because I'm riveted by the bald eagle from the Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> what animal would you most like to play next? Um, Henry the dog. You know that series? No, I don't. I just made it up. <laughs> it's gonna be your new Henry the dog. <laughs> <laughs> he like stows away on a boat accidentally because he was running from something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Bye. All right, buddy. <laughs> Pleasure, man.